Daylight faded under the oncoming darkness. David was working on a mock-up at a desk by the window, straining his eyes in the dim light. For the past few weeks, he has been researching what the city looked like before the Great Apocalypse. With the help of satellite images and old maps, he made a sketch that he planned to turn into a model. The sky outside had already turned black, and instead of stars and crickets, the lights of police helicopters and the sounds of sirens dominated the night. The state of emergency due to the great apocalypse continued. The sweet smell of grass and honey ripped through David's nostrils as he spun in bed, half asleep. Buildings appeared before his eyes that he had failed to complete that evening, plagued by dreams of a white figure hovering over him whispering indistinct verses caused him to awake suddenly which focused his attention to the model on the desk some of which had only been planned the night before yet now stood complete the phone indicated a missed call from an anonymous number with an unknown area code he expected another phone call which turned out to be in vain but he continued with his model still unsure of how much work he actually achieved the night before the following night, David woke up to a violent storm just in time to witness a flash of lightning that illuminated the whole room and revealed a white figure standing by the window. Still recovering from his dreamlike state, he noticed that the phone now indicated six missed calls. But the number seemed familiar somehow. After approaching the desk, he observed even more details that had been added to the model. He even visited the Paranormal Abnormalis Forum and shared various photographs of the model along with screenshots of the missed calls in the hope that someone could explain what was going on and to prove that he wasn't going insane. As the clock struck three in the morning, it seemed that dawn would never come. David considered taking some sleeping pills. He had been tired the night before. He needed sleep, but was afraid of what would follow. After drinking a glass of water and putting the pills away, he soon fell asleep, but it wasn't long before a familiar scent brought him back to reality. The room was fully lit, even though it was night, and there was no lightning. A white figure sat before the desk working meticulously on the model. He felt no fear, but continued to watch the strange phenomenon in silence. The figure stood up and looked at him after finally completing the model, which had turned out better than he could have ever imagined. Without a word, the person who stared at him explained the meaning of the phone calls and the mysterious work on the model. David tried to inhale but could not. He then recognized the figure, her lengthy hair and large eyes, and became overwhelmed with sadness. The moment appeared to last forever as they stood before each other until her spirit disappeared, along with his.